Hi guys, this is Luton. Now, today we're going to be talking about setting up as you approach an objective. Now, right here, um, we just taken on a tank. I had nothing to take on the tank with, but you can see that my teammate did. I think it was airborne, and uh, but he got kicked out of the game for some reason. I was planning to remove those targets and then res him, but uh, he, I think he got disconnected. We were both having, we were all having disconnection issues that evening, which continues to be an issue with Battlefield, where despite it being said that they improved it, it still seems to continue. Now, I have no choice but to now proceed to the objective on foot, which is what I'm doing. Now, in the meantime, me and Raven were saying, okay, we will move up on the left-hand side. I said, spawn on me. I said we'll make a move down to the base, I said I'll break to the left, stay down onto the right, down towards the rocks, and we were basically planning our attack as we were approaching. And this is the thing, you shouldn't spend the time moving to an objective not thinking about anything, and you should also be prepared for snipers, using the distance and time you have to observe the what you can see in front of you, are there any enemies, try and find what targets there are, and establish as much information as you can before you make your move. Now, we were formulating a little plan here. I said, okay, I said, Raven, I said, I will go up on this left first floor building. I said, you go in for the objective arm, and then I said, I can cover you from above. So, this is the thing, you want to use your surroundings, you want to think ahead of time. You don't want to just, I could have run straight for the objective, okay? He was saying drop a grenade on that, and already look, it pays off immediately as we have enemies coming in here who have obviously seen us marked or identified us in some way, or they realize there's people going. So by taking this high position, it's enabled me to spot and pick off targets that Raven would maybe not have eyes on immediately. It also means that this guy, even at far range over there, I can spot up. And I was calling out, okay, we've got to go over here on the left, I believe he picks up a tank in a moment, and again you see we continue to kind of find these targets in this area. They've armed the objective now. You can hear the fantastic audio glitch working perfectly right here. And um, yeah, we continue to defend this objective, but I think this shows perfectly how as a team and a little squad together you can work. And then obviously we now need to move up onto B. Now, I'm doing the best that I can in just generally looking around the area trying to find targets. A is dropped down. And we're dropping some smoke here as well, trying to cover the route. I was dropping the smoke there for my guys, trying to cover that route and generally make the B area a little bit more difficult to spot. I have moved way out here because there's obviously going to be a lot going on. I don't necessarily want to run straight in on that objective, especially when that tank, as far as I know, is still active. And I know my guys were still calling this out. A bit of a risky res there, but I'm trying to drop smoke as possible so I can keep these guys up in the air. Uh, I think they're getting taking a bit of damage here. And as you can see, the enemy have moved in very, very quickly to defuse that and secure the area. And they obviously had us marked, they were pushing in on us, and there's just too many targets to deal with there for myself. But I think this video shows basically how you can kind of get, get the upper hand on your enemy just by a little pre-planning just in-game as you work through the movement. And then we're heading up to B here. Now, I'm not going to lie, we all know that this base on Caspian is not one of the most difficult bases in the game. But what it does show is that by the way you move and the positions that you take, you can have a stronger impact on the game. And um, the other thing was, whilst I was in here, notice, look, see where my guys are right now? They don't all run in here. And we were communicating, we were talking about this. I said, don't come in here. I've got this one. You secure the outside. So you don't all need to get in this room. Also, watch. Look straight away, he moves off me, he doesn't go prone or stay on me or anything like that. So just a couple of small points here, I get taken out here at the end, but uh, thanks for watching this one guys, hope you've enjoyed, hope this has been another useful thought for the day, and I'll see you for some more Battlefield footage, more Battlefield tactics very very soon.